royal wedding, basically, right? It does look like a royal wedding. I'm Eric Eddings. And I am Brittany Luce. And we're the hosts of The Nye from Gimlet Media. Yes, it's a podcast. It's about black culture. It's amazing. It's very good. It comes out every Monday. We're not biased. We're not biased. And we are about to watch Ape Fish from the Carters, Beyonce yes. and Jay-Z. What, so what were your first reactions? Well, my first reaction is, okay, obviously it's beautiful. Yes. A part of me thinks that this is also like a part of Beyonce reaching her final form. Like she's always loved art. She and Jay loved the Louvre. Yeah. And they took that famous Instagram photo of them on either side of it. That was one of her best facial expressions of all time. <laughs> I think they mimicked that in the earlier shot where they're standing in front of it with their silk suits. But I just love it. It's opulent. It's beautiful. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, like, Jay-Z's Picasso baby video a mm -hmm. little bit, but, like, a very significant escalation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, if we had that nugget of an idea and made it 300% better, yes. this is kind of what we would have. Yes. It's also interesting, too, because it kind of definitely blends, like, the stuff they're interested in. Yes. Jay-Z really loves opulence, and Beyonce always kind of does, like, like like you said, like, art pieces in mm -hmm. her videos. And so it makes sense that they would do this in the Louvre. Exactly. It's like, what's the fanciest museum that you could think of? Yeah. Okay, so, so this right here. <laughs> <laughs> this, during this section is, this is like, okay, so obviously I've seen this video before. During yeah. this section is when it becomes apparent to me that this is a Beyonce production. Yes. Like, Jay actually has a very good verse toward the end of the song. I think that Beyonce's rapping on this song is phenomenal. This, I noticed like before, when they're standing in their silk suits, he's wearing seafoam green, she's wearing bright pink, and there's like a seafoam green frame around where the Mona Lisa is. And so he kind of automatically ends up blending more in with the background because he yeah. matches the seafoam. And she's in bright pink, she's in the foreground. And then here she is, a full MCM, I don't know what to call this kind of outfit. <laughs> a bustier, <laughs> baseball cap, I don't know what to call what that. What you wear to the- Museum. To, yeah, exactly. You know, just a casual day. Right. Eric has one at home. I do, full leather. Uh, but yeah, but she's in front of him, she's dancing. Like, obviously he's dressed very well. He has the chain, the medallion, and the gray suit. But you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't compete with this. Yeah. She's in the foreground. It's also cool too how like, I mean, it's like a little bit of like a contrast. Like Jay-Z's chain is what some would call a little gaudy. You know, but mm -hmm. it works. It's like a cool contrast with like the what is supposed to be quote unquote the high class of yeah. the, the business the suit. Yeah. And them just being who they want to be in that space. Yes, it's, it's nice to be comfortable. It is. Rich. I think that's what it is. I think it's the comfort that gets me because it's like, okay, they've been to museums before. Actually, they shoot a lot of things in the Louvre. They shot yeah. Smurfs too. Where are we? It's <laughs> work. <laughs> yes, 50 classic. Shades Freed. So it's not like, you can rent it out, like you could rent out anything else. Yeah. This is like, they're in there and they're like, this is our house, this yeah. is our living room, this is where we're at. Just hanging out, hanging you know, out. watching a little TV. Mm -hmm. Oh look, you know, uh, early French Renaissance paintings are on. Exactly, you know? that's, all, that's all it is. I think it's interesting to pause here. I mean, the, the other thing to kind of point out about this is other than the fact that they're just comfortable in the space, they've also put, like every time you see a piece of what you would consider like white art, mm -hmm. and like what is supposed to be like high white art, they position black people in like contrast to it. It's like, I don't know, I find it really interesting that they, like that they took that approach. Like you said, it kind of mimics what Beyonce does all the time. It's like saying, hey, this is just as good why is it not on the wall, you know? Mm -hmm. Why is it not here? It's like a more opulent take on it. They're treating it like their living room and they're bringing their hottest friends over with their best do-rags. Yes. You know? That are connected. <laughs> we should get a connected do-rag. We should. The friendship. We have to time the like our walking. That's everything. true. Okay. Okay, so a couple of images that you just saw, I thought they were really beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You see young black couples in contemporary clothing, in contemporary settings, mimicking the same body language as some of the art that's in the Louvre. And I just think it's pretty and it's, um, 
<laughs> I'd say cute because cute is so protective. <laughs> but it's just they're really beautiful images. And um, I've been reading a couple takes, and a lot of people compare it, compare it to the work of Dina Lawson. And she does a lot of like contemporary photographs of black people in like sort of intimate private spaces, stuff that you would see in your everyday life. It's also great just. Anytime you have like a Beyonce video, you know, more so, more so her, and I guess now Jay-Z. Like honestly, black people are just shot very well, you know? Like everything just looks as beautiful as it possibly can be. Uh, and that is like definitely on display here. Mm. Royal wedding, basically, right? It does look like a royal wedding. It actually, you know, I never actually really thought of this, but this is sort of like, this imagery, because they got married again. Yeah, and they talk about that in the album. They do talk about that. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce for half of her lifetime <laughs> and decided to reconcile that recently. And they did, they got married again. And this, I didn't even think about that, Eric. Yeah. That's such a good point. Mm. You see the way she looked at the camera when she said, I can't believe we made it? I can't believe we made it. <laughs> it was almost like she was a little surprised, though. <laughs> 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 it's a little bit of surprise and like, but of course, but of course we made it. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting too when you come back to like to talk about the album just a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. it's so clear that they're like, okay, I know we've been talking about all our business for about, you know, three, four years now, yeah. but we're good now. <laughs> you know, that's almost like what she's saying. All this stuff happened, but we're in a good place now. It's hard because it's like, Maybe they've processed it. Maybe she's processed it. But like all this information is new for us. Yeah. So I'm like, wait, two years ago he was cheating. Then last year he confirmed he was cheating. And now you guys are in a museum together. <laughs> Hanging out. Yes, yeah, basically staging a, a second wedding yeah. in couture clothing. And it's just like, I'm, I have whiplash. We need steps in between. I need steps. Yeah. I need therapy. I said no to the Super Bowl. You need me, I don't need you. Every night we in the end zone. Tell the NFL we in stadiums too. Come also, just to point out, it's interesting too, like they had the, the scene of all the like black boys kneeling mm. too, which is like, I mean, kind of goes back to what you're saying. There's all, all these like little messages. Everything, everything that's there, uh, you can almost take it for granted that it is intentional. Mm -hmm. Like it's very intentional. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we made it. Another thing I want to note that's so cool about this is that um, all of the dancers are wearing leotard kind of like stocking material that's yeah. like really cl close to their actual skin tone. I used to dance ballet for a long time and everything is white or pink. The shoes are pink, the tights are pink. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't blend. <laughs> it's not like these are approximations of like the dancer's skin tones. Like it is pretty on target. So it's like there was like a lot of forethought in like selecting the dancers, and then also getting them fitted in, like getting their work wear, because yeah. for them this is their job, getting their actual work wear properly like dyed and colored. I thought that was such a beautiful touch, and to me, it just made the video feel so smooth. Yeah, it, you know I mean, it shows the care that they put into every single piece of this thing. It's not mm -hmm. just like, oh, we hanging out in the Louvre, you know, like we're dancing a little bit. It's not, it's not a typical rap video, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. Wait, you see what I'm saying though? Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. That seafoam green, seafoam green. Beyonce is rapping. And if you pan out a little bit, if you had to go back. He's holding her hand, showing off her ring, but also her hand is on top. And I'm like. <laughs> it's messages. It's he, subliminal. It's subliminal. There's <laughs> levels to it. Jay-Z is like, like he's standing there and he's like, this is my wife. She is rapping. Like, yes, she is in the pink silk suit. And it's her time. Yeah. Like, I'm here. I'm the support. I'm giving her the boost. I'm just going to let her do what she needs to do and I'll be there to step in. People feel like people are dragging Jay-Z when we say that, but Jay-Z knows the deal. And Jay-Z is good. Like, Jay-Z is- He's, he's had a very good, good career. No problems right now, you know? Also, she took it back. Exactly. Have you seen this woman? She didn't have to do that. Yeah. No. Hey, there's some danger. Danger. Whole lot of gang in. 35 chains. I don't give a damn about the fame. And I'm popping my bitches, I'm popping. We go to the dealer and top it off. Popping off. Sipping my favorite alcohol. Got me so lit. Can just talk about Beyonce rapping, though? Like. <laughs> Like, it's, I mean, I, even on the album, too, it's kind of amazing. Like, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to, if you think about Jay-Z as one of the greatest rappers of all time. I know. And then on, on this album, he kind of showed up just a little bit, you know? Sometimes on the same song. Like, yeah. there's a couple songs on the album where I'm like, like, I have to say, Jay-Z actually sounds very good on the album. Yeah, he's, I mean, it's, it's, it's good rapping. He's still one of the greatest rappers of all time. Right. 
But on some songs, I'm like, oh, she really just blew you out of the water. But you know what, though? If you think back to Destiny's Child. It's not hot, but you be calling me, stressing me, paging my people, you just nonstop. They always sang so fast. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, she she was low-key rapping. She's Bugaboo low -key. is a rap song. Bugaboo <laughs> is a rap song. Bugaboo. Beyonce has been rapping. That's true. And she's like, she or at least singing fast. Yeah. And you, I mean, you have a little more flexibility when you are a singer. Mm -hmm. You know, like, Jay-Z can do with his, like, how he flows. Mm -hmm. Like, Beyonce can do that. And she can kind of switch it up because she can sing and she raps. Too. I know. It's amazing. I hope she releases an entire rap, rap album. A I joint album with Amigos. That's the next one. <laughs> flames. That'll be Flames. So. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Take a top shift. Call my girls and put them all on the space. Sorry, we just saw that. Um, Afropic. <laughs> I just like that. I was like, well, this is like, I used to Afropic before I came here today, so. That's true. It's the details. It's you know? the details. Yeah, I just like that. I thought it was cute. And I think that's the cover of their album, actually, that shot, okay. that particular shot. It's beautiful. It's nice just like, when was the last time you just saw them smiling? Like both of them just smiling. <laughs> In the same form. Yeah, because like JC is always trying to just be cool, you know? Yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm the coolest person alive. But it's nice to just see him like, you know what? I'm having a good day. They had a really good day when they made this. Weather's great. <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah, that was a bitch. That was a bitch. I think it's a beautiful video, and I think that it is a culmination of Beyonce's interests and thoughts and feelings. I think that Eric made a really good point about how it's sort of like the best melding of what they're both interested in. Yeah. Wealth, art, being hot, <laughs> together. dancing, together, <laughs> black people, like us, all the stuff that they're the most interested in. There are a lot of shots of the two of them together, because like now they're sort of like presenting this united image mm -hmm. again to the, the world. Carters. The Carters. I even just like, instead of saying it's by Beyonce and Jay-Z, it's by the Carters. It was a very interesting way to sort of signal that they are back together as a family unit, better and stronger than ever, according to them. The one cool thing about them putting all their business throughout their albums is you really do get to see a level of like kind of growth and progression for both of them. Mm -hmm. You know, even from uh, like, you know, what Beyonce did with Lemonade to uh, what Jay-Z was doing with 444. Mm -hmm. And like now it's kind of like, okay, we're putting all this together in this way that shows like we've taken a next step. Which is, which is really nice. Yeah, it is nice. It's interesting. And it's also too, like, I don't know anything about their personal life. That's all I'm gonna say. But I wouldn't be surprised if like, one of the biggest draws for each of them to their relationship was like their sort of respect of the other person's mm. craft and taste level and success and sort of like their drive. It's very clear when you watch something like this that so much has like both of their fingerprints on it. Yeah. That they are, if nothing else, an amazing pair of collaborators. You can see their chemistry as collaborators coming through like loud and clear. And, um, you know, I thought the video was hot. Yeah, can't wait for the next one. Can't wait for the next one. I actually really can't wait for the next one. <laughs> I can't. So thank you for joining us. Yes, Thanks yes. For watching a bitch with us. This wonderful video mm -hmm. that we just passed through. Yes. So lovely. Uh, yes, and I'm Eric Eddings. I'm Brittany Luce. And if you want to hear more from us, yes. you should listen to our podcast. It's really good every Monday. The Nod. Wherever you get your podcasts. Wherever you get your podcasts. Is that helpful? <laughs> That's great. Okay.